All right, y'all. Uh, today we're going to be talking about matrices. And what is a matrix? Well, it's definitely a series of movies from possibly before you were born. Um, but it's also a rectangular array of numbers and variables. Basically, it's a shortcut way of writing a bunch of equations. Um, it's going to have rows and columns, and we're going to refer to it at, by the number of rows and columns that it has. So an augmented matrix is just a matrix with an augment. So what you do to turn a bunch of equations into a matrix is you put them in terms of rows and columns. So we'll have a, a column for X, column for Y, column for Z for this system because we have three variables. Then you essentially have for your equal sign will have that augment, that line, and then you'll put what it equals. So our first row, we have 1x, we have 1y, we have negative 1z, and it equals 7. So we put that. Second row, 1, negative 1, 2, 3. Last one, 2, 1, 1, 9. All right, cool. So if we want to put things into a matrix, what's the rules for them? Well, they have to be in standard form. Everything has to be in order. So like for this one, it's kind of out of order right now. Let's put it with A first. So negative A, there are B, there are C, then equals our number. So the next one would be 5A plus no B plus 2C equals 6. The last one is no A plus 2B. The C would have to go to the other side. So we'd have positive C equals 2. That would allow us to now do A, B, C equals number. So we have negative 1, 2, 3 equals 14. 5, 0, 2 equals 6. 0, 2, 1 equals 2. We can also go the other way around. We can take a matrix and create a system of equations. Now I'm going to say this is X y and z. So I have 5x plus 6y minus 2z equals 7. I have 1x, no y, plus 5z equals 13. I have 2x minus 3y minus 1z equals 12. Okay. We can also go from a word problem to a matrix. So we can create equations and then make those into a matrix. So, English department and math department went to Warburger. They bought three burgers, five sodas for this amount. Math department bought 12 burgers, eight sodas for this amount. So, we could write it as three burgers plus five sodas equals 2432. Whereas the math department, 12 burgers plus eight sodas equals 73.40. We can then turn that into a matrix, because it's already in standard form. 3, 5, 2, 4, 3, 2, 12, 8, 7, 3, 4, 0. All right. We can also get information from a matrix. So Aaron has a combination of pennies, nickels, and dimes. Uh, his collections represented below. What we have? Well, let's turn this into problems. The first one says, well, first off, we need to determine which columns are what. Now, this last one looks like decimals. So which one is worth one cent? Well, pennies. Which one's worth five cents? Well, nickels. And which one's worth 10 cents? Well, dimes. So now we can turn this into equations. First one says one penny plus one nickel plus one dime equals 29. That's probably a total count. The last equation says 0 0.01 pennies plus 0 0.05 nickels plus 0.10 dimes equals 1.13. Given that everything is a decimal here and we're dealing with decimals, this is probably going to be a total dollar amount. Finally, we have one penny plus one nickel equals 25. What this tells me is the total for pennies and nickels. So 
since this doesn't tell me anything about dimes. It also kind of inversely tells me, given that we have 25 total and 20, 25, or 29 total and 25 without dimes, it tells me that dimes, well, we have four dimes. All right. Hopefully that all makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a good one, y'all.